If you need to slow down while driving on a slippery road, the first thing you should do is A. Firmly apply your brakes. B. Take your foot off the gas pedal. C. Apply your parking brake. D. Pump your brakes. B. Take your foot off the gas pedal. To slow down on a slippery road, you should first take your foot off the gas pedal. If you need to slow down even more, gently apply a slow, steady pressure to your brake pedal. This road sign means A. Side road. B. Keep to the side indicated by the arrow. C. You may drive in the left lane. D. You have the right of way. B. Keep to the side indicated by the arrow. This is a, keep right, sign. It indicates that a traffic island, median, or barrier is ahead and that drivers must keep to the right of it. Before entering a roundabout, you must slow down and yield to A. Vehicles in the roundabout. B. Bicyclists in the roundabout. C. Pedestrians in the roundabout. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. When entering a roundabout, you must yield to pedestrians, bicyclists, and vehicles that are already in the roundabout. To prevent hydroplaning, you should A. Ensure that your tires have good tread depth. B. Ensure that your tires are properly inflated. C. Reduce your speed when driving in the rain. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. To prevent hydroplaning, you should ensure that the tires on your vehicle have good tread depth and are inflated to the proper pressure. Reduce the speed of your vehicle when driving in the rain. Hydroplaning occurs most frequently at higher speeds. Want to issue DMV test? Go to CheatSheets.com and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. A single broken white line down the center of a two-lane road indicates A. Lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are not permitted to pass. B. Lanes are moving in opposite directions and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. C. Lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are not permitted to pass. D. Lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. D. Lanes are moving in the same direction and drivers are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. White lines are used to separate traffic moving in the same direction. Dashed lines indicate that drivers directly next to the line are permitted to pass when it is safe to do so. When approaching a pedestrian hybrid beacon with a solid yellow light, you must A. Proceed with caution. B. Come to a complete stop before proceeding with caution. C. Slow and prepare to stop. D. Come to a complete stop and wait for a green light. C. Slow and prepare to stop. A pedestrian hybrid beacon PHB allows pedestrians to safely cross a roadway. A PHB only operates when activated by a pedestrian. When the PHB is displaying a solid yellow light, you must slow down and prepare to stop. You are coming to a railroad crossing where the crossing signals are flashing. You should A. Stop and look for a train. B. Slow down and look for a train. C. Look for a train, then speed up. D. Do what the vehicle ahead of you does. A. Stop and look for a train. When approaching a railroad crossing, you must stop your vehicle no closer than 15 feet from the nearest rail if an installed electric or mechanical signal is giving warning of an approaching train.
be aware of other warning signs that may indicate an oncoming train, including seeing a lowered crossing gate or hearing an oncoming train. When driving on major highways, a. Stay alert. b. Keep your eyes moving. c. Be ready to react to road hazards. d. All of the above. d. All of the above. It is important to stay alert on highways and be ready to react to unexpected hazards. To avoid highway hypnosis, you should avoid looking at any one thing for more than a few seconds. If you want to get off the freeway but you have missed your exit, you should A. Go to the next exit. B. Make a U-turn through the median. C. Pull onto the shoulder and back your car to the exit. D. Flag down a police officer for an escort back to your exit. A. Go to the next exit. If you miss your exit, you should take the next exit. Do not stop or back up on the highway, swerve across multiple lanes to try to make the exit at the last second, or cross over the median to turn around. All of these maneuvers are illegal and extremely dangerous. This sign means that A. A community service group is picking up trash along the highway ahead. B. Workers are on or very close to the road in the work zone ahead. C. Children are at play ahead. D. There is a pedestrian crosswalk ahead. B. Workers are on or very close to the road in the work zone ahead. This sign indicates that workers may be on or very close to the roadway ahead, so you should take special care when traveling through the area. A work zone. A. May be moving or stationary. B. Is marked with black and white signs. C. Does not require a driver to slow down and pay extra attention. D. All of the above. A. May be moving or stationary. Work zones are often stationary, but they may also be present in the form of moving vehicles striping lines, mowing, or removing snow. Work zones are marked by orange signs with black lettering or symbols. Slow down and pay extra attention when approaching or driving through a work zone. Regulatory signs are usually fill in the blank and should always be obeyed. A. White. B. Blue. C. Green. D. Orange. A. White. Regulatory signs regulate the movement of traffic. They are usually white with black markings and must always be obeyed by motorists. This sign is a A. Service sign. B. Regulatory sign. C. Warning sign. D. Stop sign. Which of the following influences the effects of alcohol? A. The amount of food in the stomach. B. The body weight of an individual. C. How much time passes between drinks. D. All three choices. D. All three choices. Your blood alcohol content, BAC, depends on how much alcohol you drink, how much time passes between drinks, and your weight. Eating before or while you drink helps slow the absorption of alcohol somewhat, but it cannot prevent intoxication or impairment if you have too much to drink. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit on a highway outside of thickly settled areas and business districts is a. 10 miles per hour b. 20 miles per hour c. 30 miles per hour D. 50 miles per hour. D. 50 miles per hour.
Unless posted otherwise, your speed is not reasonable and proper if you drive at speeds faster than 50 miles per hour on highways outside of thickly settled areas or business districts. Massachusetts law requires headlights to be used? A. When the driver is tired. B. One half hour after sunset until one half hour before sunrise. C. When the temperature drops below freezing. D. During the day in favorable weather conditions. B. One half hour after sunset until one half hour before sunrise. Massachusetts law requires that your headlights be on one half hour after sunset until one half hour before sunrise. Headlights can help increase visibility in situations with naturally lowered visibility. Drive below the posted speed limit when? A. Anything makes conditions less than perfect. B. You see a police car. C. Entering a highway where there are other cars. D. You are on a four-lane road. A. Anything makes conditions less than perfect. When the road is wet or slippery, when you cannot see well, or when anything else makes conditions less than perfect, drive below the posted speed limit. Even if you are driving within the posted speed limit, you can still be ticketed for driving too fast for conditions. A driver approaching a flashing red traffic signal must a. Slow down at the light. B. Drive carefully without stopping. C. Merge to the right. D. Stop before entering the intersection. D. Stop before entering the intersection. A flashing red light means that you must stop, yield to traffic and pedestrians, and go only when it is safe. At a railroad crossing, a flashing red light indicates that a train is approaching. Yield to the train, and go only when the lights have stopped flashing and all other active warning devices deactivate. This sign means A. Heavy traffic ahead. B. Do not enter. C. Railroad crossing. D. Yield. B. Do not enter. This sign means that it is not safe for drivers to enter the indicated road or driveway from their current direction. If you come across one of these signs, you should immediately turn around and drive a different way. Your body gets rid of approximately a. 3 alcoholic drinks an hour. b. 1 alcoholic drink an hour. c. 2 alcoholic drinks an hour. D. None of the above. B. One alcoholic drink an hour. The average person's body will process about one alcoholic drink in one hour. However, many factors play a part in determining how impaired a person will become when consuming alcohol, including the amount of alcohol consumed, how fast it is consumed, and a person's body weight, food intake, and general health. Refusing to take an alcohol analysis test when under suspicion of operating under the influence? A. Will result in license suspension. B. Is your right and will have no negative consequences. C. Is recommended. D. Will just result in a fine. A. Will result in license suspension. If you are driving a motor vehicle in Massachusetts, you have given your consent to a test to determine the alcoholic content of your blood and the presence of any abused or illegal controlled dangerous substance. If you refuse to submit to the test, your driving privileges will be suspended. This sign means A. A divided highway ends. B. A one-way street begins. C. A one-way street ends. D. A divided highway begins. D. A divided highway begins. This sign indicates that the road ahead becomes a divided highway. Keep to the right of the divider or median.
You come to an intersection displaying a flashing red light. You should a. Come to a full stop and go when it is safe to do so. b. Stop only if other cars are also approaching the intersection. c. Stop only if other cars are already within the intersection. d. Slow down and be prepared to stop, if necessary. a. Come to a full stop and go when it is safe to do so. A flashing red traffic light has the same meaning as a stop sign. You must stop, yield the right of way, and go once it is safe. On slippery roads, you should a. Slow down. b. Drive more quickly. c. Drive the speed limit, with caution. d. Not drive more quickly than 20 miles per hour. a. Slow down. You should slow down at the first sign of rain, snow, or sleet, all of which can create slippery road conditions. When conditions on the road are less than ideal, safety may require that you drive more slowly than the posted speed limit. A leaking exhaust system can a. cause excessive oil use, b. require your vehicle to have a tune up sooner than normal. C. Make you drowsy while driving. D. Set grass fires on country roads. C. Make you drowsy while driving. The exhaust system helps remove toxic gases, reduce the noise, and cool the hot gases coming from a running engine. Fumes from a leaky exhaust system can cause death in a very short time. They can also make you drowsy while driving.